Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, let me ask you a question. How long are you going to carry the weight of yesterday? How long will you let the mistakes of the past, the missed opportunities, and the fear of failure dictate your tomorrow? Today, right here, right now, is the moment to hit the reset button on your life. Letting go of the past is a transformative act of self-liberation. It is about freeing yourself from the emotional weight of experiences that no longer serve you mistakes, regrets, betrayals, and missed opportunities. Holding on to the past can feel like carrying a heavy backpack on a long journey. It slows you down, drains your energy, and makes it harder to move forward. The act of letting go is not about erasing the past, but about releasing its grip on your present and future. The past is a place of lessons, not a place to live. Each experience, whether good or bad, teaches you something about yourself, others, or the world. Those lessons are valuable, but they do not need to keep you chained to moments that are gone. Mistakes are opportunities to learn and grow. Regrets are reminders of what matters to you. But once the lesson is learned, holding onto the pain or wishing for a different outcome only keeps you stuck. Letting go requires forgiveness, both for others and for yourself. Holding on to resentment or blame is like drinking poison and expecting someone else to suffer. Forgiveness does not mean condoning what happened. It means refusing to let it control your emotions and actions any longer. Similarly, forgiving yourself is crucial. We all make mistakes, but self-compassion allows you to acknowledge them, learn from them, and move on without unnecessary self-punishment. Another important aspect of letting go is understanding that the past cannot be changed. Wishing things had been different or replaying scenarios in your mind will not alter what happened. Acceptance is key. Acceptance doesn't mean you approve of everything that occurred. It means you acknowledge reality as it is and decide to focus on what you can change your present and your future. Letting go is also about reclaiming your power. When you dwell on the past, you give it control over your emotions and decisions. By choosing to release it, you take back your agency. You remind yourself that your life is not defined by what happened to you, but by how you respond and what you choose to create moving forward. The process of letting go is not always easy, and it doesn't happen overnight. It takes self-awareness, patience, and intentionality. Journaling, meditation, or speaking with a trusted friend or therapist can help you process and release lingering emotions. Visualizing yourself letting go, whether by imagining a balloon floating away or writing down thoughts and burning them, can be a powerful symbolic act. When you let go of the past, you create space for new opportunities, relationships, and experiences. You allow yourself to live fully in the present and to dream boldly for the future. The freedom that comes from letting go is not just emotional, it is transformational. It allows you to step into your potential unburdened by yesterday's weight, ready to embrace life with renewed energy and purpose. Resetting is not giving up. It is one of the most courageous and empowering choices you can make. It's a deliberate act of self-awareness and determination, acknowledging that the path you are on isn't serving you and choosing to pivot towards something better. Giving up means abandoning hope, quitting without trying, or surrendering to circumstances. Resetting, however, is an act of taking control. It is a declaration that you refuse to settle for less than you are capable of achieving. Life is dynamic and circumstances change. The dreams you had at one stage may evolve and the strategies that worked for you once might no longer be effective. Resetting means recognizing these shifts and adapting. It's about growth, not failure. Starting over can feel intimidating because it requires you to step out of your comfort zone and confront uncertainty, but it's also an opportunity to refine your goals and rediscover your passion. Far from giving up, resetting demonstrates your resilience and commitment to pursuing a life of purpose and fulfillment. Resetting does not erase your progress, it builds upon it. Every step you've taken, every challenge you faced, and every lesson you've learned becomes part of your foundation. Think of it like an artist painting a masterpiece. Sometimes they step back, see the work in progress, and decide to adjust or even start anew. This decision isn't failure, it's creativity, vision, and dedication to excellence. Similarly, when you reset your life, you're not discarding everything, you're refining your journey, ensuring it aligns with who you are and where you want to go. The fear of starting over often holds people back. There's a misconception that resetting means wasting the time, effort, and energy already invested. 
but consider this staying on the wrong path wastes far more. Every moment you spend heading in the wrong direction is a moment further away from your true purpose. Resetting allows you to recalibrate and redirect your energy toward what truly matters, saving you time and frustration in the long run. Resetting also requires humility. It's about being honest with yourself, admitting when something isn't working, and having the courage to change course. It's not about perfection but progress. It's a testament to your self-awareness and willingness to prioritize your growth over your ego. People who are too afraid to reset often remain stuck, living a life of quiet dissatisfaction. Those who reset embrace transformation, paving the way for new opportunities and possibilities. When you reset, you open yourself to fresh perspectives and renewed energy. It's a chance to shed old baggage, let go of limiting beliefs, and embrace a future filled with potential. Resetting isn't starting from scratch, it's starting from experience. Each time you reset, you do so with more wisdom, strength, and clarity. Resetting is not about abandoning the dream, it's about finding a better way to achieve it. It's not giving up, it's leveling up. It's your declaration to the world and yourself that you are committed to living authentically, purposefully, and boldly. Clearing the clutter in your life is an essential step toward creating space for growth, purpose, and fulfillment. Clutter isn't just the physical mess you see around you, it's also the mental, emotional, and spiritual baggage that holds you back. Clutter distracts, drains, and overwhelms you. It blocks your path to clarity, focus, and progress. Clearing it is not just about tidying up, it's about transforming your environment and mindset to align with the life you truly want. Physical clutter is often the easiest to recognize. It could be the piles of papers on your desk, the clothes you no longer wear, or the unnecessary gadgets that collect dust in your home. These things may seem harmless, but they take up space, time, and energy. A cluttered environment often leads to a cluttered mind, making it harder to focus and prioritize. By simplifying and organizing your space, you create a sense of calm and order that allows you to think more clearly and act more decisively. Emotional clutter is subtler, but just as impactful. It consists of unresolved conflicts, grudges, and lingering regrets that weigh on your heart. These emotions can cloud your judgment, sap your energy, and prevent you from fully engaging with the present. Letting go of this clutter requires forgiveness both of others and yourself. It's about recognizing that holding on to negative emotions doesn't change the past, it only robs you of your peace. Releasing emotional clutter frees you to invest your energy in relationships and activities that uplift and inspire you. Mental clutter is the constant noise of overthinking, self-doubt, and unnecessary worry. It's the overwhelming to-do lists, the barrage of information, and the relentless comparisons to others. This clutter can paralyze you, making even simple decisions feel monumental. To clear it, practice mindfulness. Focus on what truly matters and let go of the rest. Prioritize your goals, delegate when possible, and say no to commitments that don't align with your purpose. Simplifying your mental load creates space for creativity, problem solving, and growth. Spiritual clutter often comes from disconnection from yourself, your values, or your purpose. It's the feeling of being out of alignment with what truly matters to you. Clearing this clutter involves reconnecting with your inner self through practices like meditation, journaling, or spending time in nature. It's about rediscovering what gives you meaning and joy and letting go of beliefs or habits that don't reflect your authentic self. Clearing the clutter is an ongoing process, not a one-time task. Life is dynamic and new distractions and challenges will arise. Regularly assessing and decluttering your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual spaces helps you stay focused and grounded. It allows you to approach each day with intention and clarity, fully present and ready to embrace the opportunities ahead. By clearing the clutter, you reclaim your energy, refocus your priorities, and create room for the life you truly deserve. It's not just about removing what doesn't matter, it's about making space for what does. Learning from experience is one of the most powerful ways to grow and evolve. Every experience, whether positive or negative, holds valuable lessons if you are willing to look for them. Life is a series of events that shape you, challenge you, and teach you about yourself and the world around you. It's not the events themselves that define your journey, but how you interpret them and what you choose to take away from them.
Each mistake you make is an opportunity to learn. Failures, setbacks, and disappointments are not the end of the road. They are stepping stones on the path to success. When things don't go as planned, it's natural to feel frustrated or discouraged. But instead of focusing on the pain of the moment, shift your perspective to uncover the lesson it holds. Ask yourself what went wrong. What could I have done differently? How can I apply this knowledge moving forward? These questions transform failures into invaluable teaching moments. Successes too are rich sources of learning. When you achieve a goal or accomplish something meaningful, take time to reflect on what worked, celebrate your wins, but also analyze the steps that led you there. Recognizing the strategies and behaviors that contributed to your success helps you replicate them in the future. It also reinforces your confidence in your ability to navigate challenges and achieve even greater heights. Learning from experience requires humility. It means admitting when you've made a mistake, recognizing that you don't have all the answers and being open to growth. This humility allows you to approach each situation with curiosity and a willingness to learn. It also helps you listen to feedback, even when it's uncomfortable, because feedback, whether from others or from life itself, is a powerful tool for improvement. One of the most important aspects of learning from experience is applying what you've learned. Knowledge without action is wasted potential. When you identify a lesson, commit to implementing it. This might mean changing a habit, adopting a new mindset, or approaching a problem in a different way. Growth happens when you take what you've learned and use it to shape your future decisions and behaviors. It's also essential to remember that learning from experience is an ongoing process. Life will always present new challenges and opportunities to grow. By cultivating a mindset of lifelong learning, you remain adaptable and resilient. Each experience adds to your reservoir of wisdom, equipping you to face whatever comes next with greater confidence and clarity. Learning from experience isn't just about personal growth, it's also about contributing to the growth of others. When you share your insights and lessons with those around you, you create a ripple effect of positivity and wisdom. Your journey becomes a source of inspiration and guidance for others who may be facing similar challenges. Ultimately, learning from experience empowers you to live a more intentional and fulfilling life. It allows you to transform struggles into strengths, turn setbacks into comebacks, and use every moment as a building block for a brighter future. Taking action now is the bridge between dreams and reality. It's the moment where intentions turn into results and potential becomes progress. Every great achievement starts with a single step, and that step must be taken in the present. Waiting for the perfect time, ideal circumstances, or a guarantee of success only delays your journey. The truth is, the perfect moment rarely arrives, and the only time you truly have is now. Action transforms ideas into tangible outcomes. You may have incredible visions for your future or ambitious goals that excite you, but without action, they remain fantasies. Thinking, planning, and dreaming are important, but they are not enough. Success comes to those who are willing to roll up their sleeves, take risks, and do the work. Even small steps forward compound over time, moving you closer to your goals with each effort. Fear often holds people back from taking action. Fear of failure, rejection, or uncertainty can paralyze you, making it feel safer to stay in your comfort zone. But inaction guarantees one thing, nothing changes. The cost of staying stagnant is far greater than the discomfort of stepping into the unknown. Action, even imperfect action, builds momentum. It breaks through fear by showing you that you are capable of handling challenges and learning along the way. Procrastination is another enemy of progress. It convinces you that there will always be time later to start that project, make that call, or pursue that dream. But time is finite. And every moment spent procrastinating is a moment you'll never get back. Taking action now ensures you are making the most of the time you have. It puts you in control of your destiny instead of letting time slip through your fingers. Action also creates clarity. You may not have all the answers or a perfectly mapped out plan, but taking the first step often reveals the next one. Each action provides feedback, teaching you what works and what doesn't. This feedback is invaluable because it helps you adjust your approach and refine your strategy. Waiting for everything to be perfect before starting can leave you stuck, but starting now allows you to learn and adapt as you go. 
When you take action, you inspire others around you. Your courage, determination, and willingness to act set an example for those who may be hesitant to pursue their own goals. Action has a ripple effect, motivating others to step out of their comfort zones and chase their dreams. The power of action lies in its ability to shift your mindset. It transforms you from someone who dreams into someone who does. Each step you take builds confidence, showing you that progress is possible and that you are capable of more than you imagined. Don't wait for permission, ideal conditions, or a guarantee of success. Decide today that your goals are worth pursuing and your dreams worth fighting for. Take action now and watch how it transforms your life, one step at a time. Having faith in your potential is the foundation for achieving greatness. It means believing in your innate ability to grow, improve, and succeed, even when the road ahead is uncertain. Your potential is limitless, but unlocking it requires trust in yourself. This faith isn't about ignoring challenges or pretending life is easy. It's about recognizing that within you lies the strength, creativity, and resilience to overcome any obstacle and reach your goals. Faith in your potential begins with self-awareness. You need to understand that your skills, talents, and dreams are not random. They are uniquely yours, and they have the power to shape your life in extraordinary ways. While it's natural to doubt yourself at times, those doubts should never define you. Instead, let them remind you that growth happens outside of your comfort zone. By acknowledging your fears and pushing past them, you build confidence in your ability to succeed. One of the biggest barriers to believing in your potential is the fear of failure. It's easy to look at setbacks as evidence that you're not capable. But failure is not the opposite of success, it's part of the process. Every mistake you make teaches you something valuable about yourself and the journey you're on. Faith in your potential means understanding that failure is temporary and doesn't define your work. It's a stepping stone to greater achievements. Your potential is not fixed. It's something you cultivate through effort, discipline, and perseverance. When you trust in your ability to grow, you're more likely to take risks, try new things, and challenge yourself. Each small victory reinforces your belief in what you can achieve, creating a positive cycle of growth and self-confidence. This faith allows you to set ambitious goals, knowing that even if you don't have all the answers now, you have the capacity to figure them out. The opinions of others can also impact your belief in your potential. Some people may doubt you, discourage you, or fail to see your vision. But their skepticism reflects their limitations, not yours. Faith in your potential means valuing your own judgment and refusing to let negativity derail your journey. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you, but ultimately trust your inner voice. You are the architect of your own success. Faith in your potential requires action. Believing in yourself is only the first step. You must also back that belief with consistent effort. Take steps, even small ones, towards your goals every day. Progress builds momentum and strengthens your confidence. With each challenge you face and overcome, your faith in yourself grows stronger, empowering you to tackle even greater aspirations. Your potential is a gift, but it's up to you to nurture it. Believe in your capacity to learn, adapt, and succeed. Trust that no matter where you are now, you are capable of reaching incredible heights. When you have faith in your potential, you unlock the power to create a life that reflects your highest dreams and deepest purpose.